Have you ever considered the power that lies in being disliked? Today, we're delving into the thought-provoking theme of the book, The Courage to be Disliked. It's a fascinating exploration of how breaking free from societal expectations and the fear of judgment can lead to a life of authentic happiness. Imagine a world where the chains of approval and disapproval no longer bind you, where you're free to be yourself, wholly and unapologetically. Dare to ponder, how liberating would it be to truly not fear being disliked? The Courage to be Disliked is a transformative book that presents a compelling argument. Penned by Ikiro Kishimi and Fumitake Koga, this work delves into the principles of Adlerian psychology, a school of thought that remains as relevant today as it was when Alfred Adler first introduced it. The book's central premise rests on the separation of tasks. This principle posits that we are not responsible for others' feelings or reactions, but solely for our own actions and attitudes. This separation empowers us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. Another key concept the book introduces is the feeling of community. It underscores the importance of contributing to society and fostering a sense of belonging, which, according to Adler, is essential for our mental well-being. The book also explores the pursuit of self-interest, arguing that it's not only acceptable, but necessary. It contends that by pursuing our interests, we are better able to serve our community and lead fulfilling lives. The narrative unfolds as a conversation between a philosopher and a young man, a format that allows for an engaging exploration of these profound ideas. The dialogue challenges the reader to reevaluate their beliefs and perceptions making for an enlightening reading experience. In essence, the book propounds the idea that you have the power to change your life, and it starts with the courage to be disliked. So, what are the golden nuggets you can take away from this book? The courage to be disliked is a treasure trove of wisdom. It's a book that urges us to embrace the courage to be disliked, to free ourselves from the shackles of external validation and to tread our own path. One of the key takeaways from this book is the concept that all problems are essentially interpersonal relationship problems. It's a bold claim, but it makes sense when you think about it. We are social beings after all, and our interactions with others greatly influence our state of mind and overall well-being. Another significant takeaway is the idea that happiness is not about receiving from the community, but about the feeling of contribution to the community. It's about giving, sharing, and enriching the lives of others. It's about making a difference. This book reminds us that genuine happiness emanates from the act of contribution, not from self-centered pursuits. Last but not least, this book underscores the importance of self-acceptance. Change is not about becoming someone else, but about accepting and loving ourselves as we are. It's about acknowledging our flaws and imperfections and realizing that they do not define us. They simply make us human. Remember, the courage to be disliked is the courage to be free. This book is a testament to that. It's about breaking free from societal expectations and finding our own way, even if that means being disliked. It's about having the courage to live authentically and unapologetically. Intrigued by the wisdom this book has to offer? If you're hungry for more enlightening content like this, we've got plenty. Show your support by smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel. Want to dive deeper? We've got you covered. Follow the link to purchase your very own copy of The Courage to be Disliked. Immerse yourself in its profound wisdom and discover the strength to embrace your unique self. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out the link to grab your copy of The Courage to be Disliked. Unlock the courage within you today.